sit down because he's just won. Tommy Sugiato against Lee Chuk Yu is an unbelievable match for Tommy. Four wins this season. He's missed a couple of matches, one out with fever and one his last. He was rested against this man. He's a very, very good player indeed. 2014, he took the bronze medal at the World Championships in Copenhagen. His father was a world champion. Of course, Vimal Kumar alongside me knew very, very well. Now, today he's up against a man three places in the world higher than him. Lee Chuk Yu from Hong Kong is 23 years of age, eight years younger than Tommy Sugiato. He's now won five times on the Star Sports Premier Badminton League. On my right, Chennai Superstars, represented by Tommy Sugiyarto. And on my left, Northeastern Warriors, represented by Lee Chuk Yu. Love all. Play. So, a huge tight, a huge match in terms of the tight. The semi-final, number one of the Star Sports Premier Badminton League Season 5. The Warriors are one nothing up. And now we have Lee Chuk Yu with five wins from six against Tommy Sugiato, unbeaten this season. Lee Chuk Yu shows what he can do. one nothing, a contender for the Bridgestone Super Rally of the tie. Two phenomenal players. Yeah, these are two players with contrasting styles. You know, Tommy likes to defend and... Uh, Ichiyuk is a really an attacking player, so the strategy maybe you know the Tommy might use is to just retrieve as much as possible and create, maybe make get errors from Ichiyuk. But once Ichiyuk goes really gets his smashes going, then it can it can be very very tough for Tommy. Even though Tommy's a lot more experienced in international badminton, Ichiyuk has been playing brilliant. But he also has the high ranking, and of course, for Chukyu, above him in the world ranking in ninth is along Angus, who sits ninth. He hails also from Hong Kong. Now, if Lee Chukyu can get two spaces up the BWF rankings, both would go to yep. Tokyo 2020. Right. Something very similar that is happening with Indian badminton as well. Because Sai Pranith is already assured, and Srikant is in the borderline. So we need two players have to be in the top 16. Challenge and successful. Out it goes. You have to be in the top 16 for two of your countrymen to go to the Olympics. For love. For love. Lee Chup Yu to serve. That time. Sugiato cuts from his right to left, gets his opening point of this encounter. Ichiyuk looks good to me. Unless he Ichiyuk can find his rhythm and wear him off. The racket of Ichiyuk. 3 5. The comeback from 31 year old Tommy Sugiyato. Copy and then he played some very casual shot. It's just not easy to just hit hit through Tommy. No, he has to create an angle. Yeah, excellent that short. Competition. Sugiato calls former world number three. Back in 2013. But then you know here you know you need to score little less points you know so that advantage is there with Lee Chiuk you know you can go all out attack. That is the most sublime and ridiculous shot at the same time. That was just a different level of class. Yeah. Very casual but excellent. Very deceptive shot. Tommy wasn't expecting that. 21 shots in that rally. The Warriors at the moment have the lead in the tie, have the lead in this match as well. Lee Chuk Yu wasn't expecting that back. And now, is he hobbling here? A certain casual shot is not really putting pressure on and hitting those hard smashes. I think, you know, definitely 
Nicky just playing a little more defensive than Tommy at the moment. But he takes himself to the break. But Lee took you to me, and whether Tommy Sugiato knows that and can take advantage. Stay tuned after this. Anyway, it's 8 5. So the state of the game 8 5 to the Warriors. But there are suspicions over the fitness here of Lee Chuk Yu. He may be wrong, but it'll be interesting these next few points to see how Sugiato maneuvers him around court. See, Dan, you know, earlier he got a chance normally to use that real hard smash. See, all this normally he hits very hard. So he's so that he didn't do that. See, this is the third particular shot you know, he, he played from the backhand area. And Tommy not reading that shot. And same spot, you know, he got three points. Oh, this was a lucky point, man, what he got the net caught. The intensity today to do so. Yeah, I don't know whether he's uh, recovered well after that illness. You know, he had some fever. And uh, I don't, definitely he's not moving. He's not really pushing the pace. Whereas, you know, Lee also is not able to push the pace. You know, he's just walking around and playing. And uh, yeah, this is much better. So two injured players in my opinion. Not, they're just playing 60%. That could well most experience to get themselves and their team through. Tom is moving okay now. He took you misses with that one. Oh, he took you. A first half move smash and try. Get the better of Tommy Sugiato. Again, doesn't go to the smash, tries the drop shot. Half-hearted smash that time from Lee Chuk Yu. Tommy then nets. Well, currently Lee Chuk Yu 13-11 up. Tommy Sugiato at sixes and sevens. This is not quite, but for different reasons than we thought. Both, both of them are playing at maybe 60% and uh, they're just trying to keep the shuttle in play and see who's going to make the first error. So that's what they're trying at and not really going on the attack. Oh, another one forced error. 12-13. Now Tommy has his chance to fight back, go over the top and take the victory. For the superstars. 20. Lee Chuk Yu brings up game point. Tommy would have returned that chalk in an ease. Oh. Lee Chuk is playing very, very casual. You know, just, just keeping the shuttle in play, not going for anything big. Oh. And then the smash down the line. Lee Chuk Yu scratches his head. He's wandered his way to the opening game. Tommy Sugiato seems to be running here on an empty tank. Lee Chuk Yu has hopped his way to the first. He hit 366. Which way, Vimmel, do you think this second game's going to go with the Warriors? Yeah. One, nothing up. Maybe. <laughs> Tommy might, you know, just if, if he keeps the shot in play, you know, he, he might. But he is playing a lot more sharp, he's, even though he's just not playing at full pay. Oh, brilliant smash. <laughs> he's, he's just, uh, when, when he wants to push the pace, occasionally he's doing that and then he's scoring. But I'm a little disappointed to see Tommy really struggling, you know, you know he's really not up to the mark. Oh, he said disappointed. He He's out with fever. Maybe he hasn't. Maybe he isn't back to full throttle. Fibble. What's important here, though, is one of these teams will make the semi finals. How do they then call that? Because if they play an unfit player and the other teams know they're unfit, yeah. 
Yeah, it is, it is, it's trouble. a problem. You know, definitely it's a problem. And uh, Michi, uh, if, if Northeastern get to the finals and Michi... Team Championships, hugely important. And you were saying yesterday they do have Olympic qualification points. Injured players, though, here, as far as we can tell for both teams. Lee you takes a risk and nets, and he's annoyed. He swipes at the air twice. Good smash. See that this really steep. I'm not sure if she saw, saw the funny side or not there, knowing she'll have seen from Tommy here. But this is not the Tommy Sugiato we've seen in this Star Sports Premier Badminton League. Lee Chuk Yu is getting through. Richest league in the world, the Star Sports Premier Badminton League. Six court prize money. In the region of 840,000 US dollars. The moment Lee Chuk Yu had the lead, it's now 5 all. But to me, Vimmel, this is literally badminton survival of the fittest we, we we know we can tell it's obvious that tommy is you know he's off color he's not playing well he's he's ill probably i'm assuming if he was out with fever and then was rested and of course the rest that he had in the regular season against northeastern warriors they said he was rested we don't know that he did the woman still unwell okay they may have been resting him in the hope that he was well again for this one lee chuk yu is just getting by with this injury and it is clear that we've been told there's no injury from the bench but I, yeah. I genuinely don't believe that for a second definitely seven six definitely is injured in a band you know you can see from his movement he's just walking around and playing and uh, tommy's all there could be some rallies you know it will only hurt tommy that's a good smash Tommy's trying to stay very central at the moment. Lee Chuk Yu has enough to manoeuvre him and then go to some sort of a smash. He's heading towards a sixth win in this campaign. It's just not Seven. making him move and maybe Tom, Tommy don't have the energy to push the pace. Oh, that's a lucky point. Eight degrees. I honestly think we're going to have this odd scenario where both players want to go into a third game. Well, sorry, if of course Tommy wins this, Lee Chuk Yu won't mind going into a third game, but neither will want the stamina sapping with this injury for Lee Chuk Yu and the potential illness for Tommy Sugiato that a third game would entail. Nine. Oh. In the ideal condition, could have been a perfect match you know, because Tommy can really defend and he can really attack him. Right. At the moment, it's just hitting him. 10-9, Lee Chuk Yu leads. Too good, too much movement. Sugiato, as you said, Vimal earlier, at about 60% here, and he just hasn't got anything in the tank. And he is being outmaneuvered. I say, I don't think either player would want to play a third at the moment. 12-11 Lee Chuk Yu, this game is a... But as far as possible, Lee is trying not to put too much weight on his knee and... Oh. Now, Tom is going to review this. If he gets it... In it is. It is 13-12. You gets the 14th point, makes it match point. The most works this evening because of lackluster Tommy Sugiato. He's in pain, Lee Chuk Yu. Neither would want to go to three here. Tommy will if he has to. And will be pushing himself to try and get the third. The Warriors are a point away from being 2 nothing up. And there it is. Lee Chuk Yu takes it into 
He was probably the fitter of the two men just about. But visibly in pain, will we see him in the final? Will we see Tommy Sugiato in the final? Should their teams make it? I have my severe doubts, Vimal. Both the teams, there will be a liability for the finals, that's for sure.